guys welcome back to my channel so today's video will be in the kitchen with dad my dad is a chef I think y'all know that by now <laughs> but for those who don't know my dad is a sous chef yeah he's a chef. and he also does um, fruit carvings and edibles or edible um, arrangements so yeah, so today he'll be chefing up some. What are you doing? He'll be chefing up some uh, freeze. <laughs> freeze. <laughs> Pause. That is a freeze. <laughs> yeah. We'll be chefing up some shrimp and pasta. So, shrimp alfredo? A shrimp alfredo in different style. Yeah, guys, and I'm here to watch and learn. Yeah. So, so it's not from the original style everybody knows. So you have a way, depending on where you are in the world, you can tweak the dishes to make it satisfying for your customer or for who you're serving. So that's what we're doing here right now. Just putting a little twist on it. Yeah, so we're doing shrimp alfredo, Chef Devon style. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comments how you prepare your shrimp alfredo. And let us know if you guys enjoy this video. So, we're ready to roll. Alright, so what we need now, we just take a little uh, green onion, thyme, and um, a little lemon just to zest it off to get that flavor. Um, so, I'm adding a little green peppers into it and carrot just to for coloration just to make it presentable when you're eating it because you know people normally eat with their eyes so once you're eating with your eyes you know everything just flow like how it's supposed to um, right now I'm just gonna julienne some some peppers real quick and then you guys gonna see the rest of it in a moment Hey guys, and you will be wondering what I'm doing in this video. I'll be putting the um, spaghetti on. A spaghetti I use? Yeah. Egg yes. Egg noodle. Egg noodle. Oh, so we're using egg, egg noodle. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a kind of this side, the help. I'm the help. I'm the help? Yeah. In between time, we're gonna put on the water for the noodle so it comes to a boil. We put the egg noodles inside and we're cooking it al dente, okay? Is it okay? Alright, guys, so this is the pot. We put the stuff in. This is where the noodles are going to be boiled so in. We just add a little twist to it to give it a little flavor. So we put a little bit of green onion in here, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of oil. So as soon as the pot reaches the boil, we put the pasta in. And then yeah, and we stuff. also put butter in there too. Now guys, he's making right. right. tacos. The shrimp is uh, pre-cooked already, so just to make it look enough, okay, we're just slicing it in half. <laughs> make it look enough. You know, so that everybody can get a taste. The shrimp like you know when you go to some places and some people give you some shrimp food and um, it's only a little two pieces of shrimp in there and it's like the food say shrimp alfredo or uh, the food say pasta and shrimp and when you look the pasta killing the shrimp so this is another way to to, to fluff it up all right so in culinary terms, we're just slicing up the shrimp and adding them to it, that's it. We did the mise en place already. The julienne carrots and onions and charlotte. Charlotte, peppers. So we're gonna saute that up. I'm starting the version like a, like it's a rasta pasta, so, because it's close to it. Guys, we're just waiting until the, the oil get a little bit hot. 
Then we're gonna saute up all this nice julienne vegetable, carrot, peppers, onion, charlotte, um, lemon, lemon zest and all that. Just to give the pasta a little bit of a little bit of coloration and to add, add flavor to it. Uh, green onion and I got scale in and time. And I'm just using everything natural. So as soon as the oil gets hot. Sorry. Just like that. You know when you're sauteing, getting everything in the pot, starting to relax. Coconut tea. Some people do some people. So you want everything to have its own nice little flavor before eating it. Sauté. We're moving over to the pot to put the pasta in. Hey right, guys, so this is what this was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> put the noodles in the pot. Master it. And cover the pot. And done. So he's heating the sauce right now, guys. Everything to be nice and you can see I take the charcoal for the shrimp already the shrimp already cooked pre-cooked so you know how we do it you want to get everything out of the body with the sauce so show you everything now that's it now we already add parmesan cheese to it already and this um, sauce that I use practically come with that inside of it already too so it's just gonna make it cheesy and creamy and nice that's it and we're cooking the pasta al dente so as soon as that is done cooked we're gonna chew it out Alfredo sauce is just um, you can use um, low fat milk or 2% regular milk, um, parmesan cheese, salt, and pepper, and just a little bit uh, to get the flavor that you like. And then you, tweak, you tweak it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And, uh, a lot of people put pimento and all that inside here just to just to give it a little more flavor I think a little bit time so we just put it in like that put it in. and get a little green onion going so just to get the flavor rich in the flavor that's how we do it Thank you. 
taste. You get the flavor that you want. You add that. Make it like a, got a nice flavor to it. We're just making it right now. A lot of people don't like a lot of stuff inside their, uh, their pasta. But like I said, depending on where you're at and the people that you're serving, you know they like all that. So you get it, everything incorporated together, low fire. And let it be in, let it stay in similar. Like I said, everything is in there already. I put a little Parmesan cheese. I put a little breadcrumbs. I put the tomatoes. I put peppers, onions, shallot, and all that stuff. So right now it's just simmering down. Now we're going back to the pasta soup. We want them. Remember we want the noodles al dente, not too soft, and not too hard. So we're straining out the pasta now guys. We are almost at the end. After pasta is cooked, shrimp cooked, and that's it. And the shrimp was already pre-cooked. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, the shrimp not take long to cook. Yep. So yeah. So this is a quick, simple, easy yes. dish. Yep. Shrimp is always a, a easy, easy go to. Go -to. And then they sit, smell amazing. This? Mm -hmm. well, you don't want the reason for this, you don't want the pasta to stick to the bottom of the pan. You don't want the pasta to stick together. Those who have the parmesan cheese, they just sprinkle on top and voila, that's it. Bon appetit. We put a little chopped parsley or we put a little chopped chives, something over it that people like and then that's it. So 
Here you go. This mm, you have it. There you have it. Santa kill me. Real smelling real nice, real good. Everybody getting a piece of shrimp. Everybody <laughs> gets a piece of shrimp. <laughs> That's all, folks. That's all. That's the, that's what it was all the fuss about. So we share it and we enjoy it. You in the, you in the kitchen? Why are you in the, in the kitchen at first with so? That's because the heat. Mm -hmm. So people, there you go. It was just a little demo, real quick, how to make the shrimp Alfredo, real quick. His way. So it's my way. There's a lot of different ways to make it, but there are people who, depending on who you're feeding and what the people don't like, that's what you give them. So have a good day. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it from dad. Um, yeah, so hope you like this video, guys. Leave your comments, leave your thoughts. Um, share this video you know today's Sunday and everybody out there cooking them Sunday dinner and this is our Sunday dinner so I'm definitely going to enjoy it um, so we're at the end of this video so like subscribe comment and share this video and I'll see you in the next upload bye, Say bye now. peace out <laughs> bye.